Nearly 23 million people tuned in to watch Princess Diana's interview on Panorama back in 1995. But more than 25 years later, there are still unanswered questions about why she decided to open up. An investigation into that report was due to be broadcast this week before being delayed with no new date confirmed. So the question still remains, was Princess Diana deceived? It's one of the world's most famous interviews. Do you think Mrs Parker Bowles was a factor in the breakdown of your marriage? Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. <laughs> When Princess Diana sat down with BBC reporter Martin Bashir for a tell-all interview, millions tuned in to watch. What effect did the depression have on your marriage? Well, it gave everybody a wonderful new label. It's Diana's unstable. It was the start of a stellar career for Bashir, who went on to do more bombshell interviews with celebrities, including Michael Jackson. But late last year, questions were raised over how he persuaded Diana to go on record about her marriage. Diana's brother, Earl Spencer, claims fake documents were used to gain the trust of the family, something the BBC insists played no part in her decision to speak out. Why have you decided to give this interview now? I want to reassure all those people who have loved me and supported me throughout the last 15 years, so I'd never let them down. Royal editor Sir Rob Jobson joins us from London. Um, Rob, why have the results of this investigation been delayed and, and why not put a time on it? Well, I mean, um, Mr Bashir's been actually very ill with coronavirus and um, oh. he's actually also um, recently left the BBC, so there's a duty of care issue at the moment, but it, it does seem that, um, according to the reports, the early um, reports coming out, that deceit was used and they've agreed that was the case, and we're going to hear more of that coming up. But my, my feeling in all this is if you go back all those years I was around at the time, Diana was actually touting not only um, f um, other people like Sir Max Hastings to try and get her story out. So whether, the, whether this was necessary for Bashir to go out and get these documents and fake these documents, if that's what he's alleged to have done, it may not have been the, uh, needed because Diana herself was desperate to get the story mm. out. But it may have been the clincher as to why he got the interview with yeah. her, mightn't it? And, and there's some note, uh, isn't there, around that from her that says this didn't impact on her giving the interview? That's right. There's supposed to be um, notes which will come out in the investigation. I mean, this is really being pushed hard by... Earl Spencer, Diana's brother, who believes that these documents were, were faked and they had a big influence on Diana's decision. I mean, he seems to be suggesting she wouldn't have spoken, but I, I really don't think that was the case. I mean, you could see in, in the passion in what she was saying that she really did feel aggrieved and she did feel that she was being labelled as mentally unstable at the time and really wanted to get that point of view across. So, although Ahmadi Bashir is being much maligned at the moment, a lot of people thinking he should face um, some sort of charges, uh, and that may well be the, the, be the case, but it would be wrong, I think, with the main person no longer with us, sadly, um, at the centre of this, able to, to actually tell the truth of, of what, how yeah. much it influenced her decision. Yep, mm. absolutely. Fascinating. All right, Rob, thank you.